what is up my beautiful saint society it is your favorite one of the influencers saint and guys if you read that title then you already freaking know that i am at wendy's guys wendy's has a new strawberry frosty and i am here to try it so if you want to see me try the new wendy's frosty keep on watching all right guys let's get into this video Six piece nugget. Regular spicy. Spicy, please. Uh, Barbecue. Okay. Um, and then a small fry. Okay. Uh, it's chili. You said small chili. Yep. You want to show the onion? Yes, please. And can you put hot sour cream with that as well? Okay. Um, with a small sunburst melon lemonade. Okay. And then can I try that new strawberry frosty? Okay. And that'll be it. Thank you. Guys, if you can hear the air, that's just my air conditioner. I'll see if I can turn it down. It's a little hot right now as I'm sitting right in the freaking sun. But I was sitting, literally waiting for this lady to move in this Honda. There's two Hondas in front of me right now. And this one car, I think that they ordered the whole freaking restaurant. Because why the heck was I sitting in that one spot for like eight minutes? Miss Ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you, love. Alrighty, let's find this spot, y'all. Okay, Saint Society. You know what? Honestly, they say never to eat your dessert first, but I don't care. Let's get right into this freaking strawberry frosty. Here it is. The focus. Oh my gosh. You know, just when I think that Wendy's can no longer surprise me, they come out with this. Let's give it a try. There is nothing like a Wendy's Frosty. I love strawberries and strawberry flavored things. I love strawberry milk. That's exactly what this tastes like. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Just frozen strawberry milk, but this is good. I like it a lot. <laughs> this is really good, guys. <laughs> Go get this. Mm. Okay. Now for my food. <laughs> Regular fries. right into my freaking spicy nugget without even showing you guys the nuggets but that's okay so guys comment down below which fry restaurant is your favorite out of all those McDonald's Wendy's Arby's Taco Bell Checkers, Five Guys, or Burger King. Cause I don't know. Now guys, I left my freaking, I lost my purse the other day. So that was fun. I still don't know how I lost it. But I just know I did. Because <laughs> here's the story, right? 
early in the morning, getting ready for work. Now listen, I'm not a morning person. I'm just not. Well, my morning is like one or two o'clock in the morning. That's morning me. After three and before 10 or 9.30, no ma'am. So I have been really struggling with um, adjusting to my new work schedule because it's like hard for me. I'm not used to waking up that early and that was one of my biggest struggles in school too was waking up early. I love school. I love going to school. I learned, I love to learn. But waking up at six o'clock in the morning, I used to struggle so bad for that. But that and it literally would trigger like my depressive episodes sometimes. And I never really understood why. But I knew that I did. It, like I would wake up and I would just be so miserable to be up that early. I'm half dead getting ready for work I'll grab my lunch bag I'll grab my book bag which is my purse and I walk out the door I don't remember anything between walking out my house and arriving at work I know I went to Dunkin Donuts but I never took my bag out of my car but here's my theory. I was walking out the house, half dead once again. And I must have put my book bag on top of my car, drove away without realizing my car, my bag was on top of my car, left it on the ground, somebody picked it up and took it, and now it's gone. Which is even crazier to me because I never put my bag on top of my car. I always get in by leading with my my arm. Like my bags go in like this and then I step into my car. But that's the only thing that makes logical sense. Literally. The only thing. And I just think because I was just so dirt tired, I was just doing stuff that I just don't usually do. So that was fun. Now this right here, best chili in the game. I don't care what nobody got to say, besides my mama's. <laughs> but as far as fast food, <sighs> Wendy's chili is so freaking good. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. But it is so freaking good. I don't know about you guys, but I love sour cream, okay? Let's give our chili a try. Ooh. Look at that bite.
So guys, I was watching my favorite podcast the other day. The Viral Podcast. You should watch it. It's freaking hilarious. And the hosts, they were talking about, you know, meeting new people and lies. And how one of them was watching Dr. Phil. And Dr. Phil said that between two people within an hour conversation, they tell about 10 lies in order to seem interesting. And I was just sitting back like, hmm, really? (laughs) And I had to think, has there ever been a time where I've told a lie to seem more interesting? (laughs) Now what I can say is that I'm 100% an over-exaggerator when it comes down to storytelling. Because the way that something happens It's not always as funny or as interesting as if you just tell it like it is. Rather than, I just tell people how I see it in my head. You know, I give them a full narration. I always over-exaggerate it because it's more funny that way. Like, for instance, the other week, when I was sitting in a McDonald's line, drive-thru line, and a lady in a trench coat came up and surprised me in my window begging for money now obviously I could have just said it like that but that's boring I would much rather say it like I'm over here sitting in a freaking McDonald's drive through y'all and out of nowhere I just see like this black figure like come past my passenger seat window and I'm just like what the hell and I miss it and I'm like what the heck was that and sometimes my eyes be playing tricks on me you know i'm halfway blind you know so i'd be like okay maybe i was maybe it was just a bird or something and i just you know i was i was tri- tripping and i'm always looking in my rear view mirror so i'm always looking in my rear view mirror i don't know why i just do it a lot i look in my rear view mirror boom another the, the shadow again so i'm like oh heck no nah. uh, no ma'am heck no nah. i'll freaking you know press the lock button make sure I ain't nobody you know tripping like that i'm like okay once again could have just been a shadow could have been a raccoon could have been a bird whatever i don't know you know, I'm just going to buy my lot of that today, thinking I'm cool. Then everything, everything's fine. And then, bam, the freaking lady is right there asking for money. Scared the bejesus out of me, okay? Scared, I think I, I saw Jesus just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because when I'm telling you, she, I'm telling you. That's how we tell the stories. Because I, I tell them how I see them or how I envision them. If that makes sense, like... She actually did pass by my car, but she was so quiet that I didn't I, I didn't notice her. Then she went around my car, because she came from, like, the cut from somewhere. Passed my car, didn't really see her, saw the shadow of her coat. Went behind my car, once again, saw the shadow of her coat. She was bothering the car behind me before she started bothering me. So she basically went, like, behind there, and then she popped up on me. And that's why I was just like, what the heck? So, you know... I like to tell stories like that, but I was wondering, do everybody do that? Or do people just be straight up lying? Because I don't lie. That's one thing I don't do. But I definitely do, like, exaggerate the story based off of how my imagination works. And it makes it more interesting. But, you know, I might throw a little joke in there. Or I might throw, like, an assumption in there. Like, what I assume is happening. Or what I assume someone is thinking. Or something like that. I might do something like that. But, like, a lie? I don't think I've ever told anybody a lie when they first meet me. Because I like people to know me for me. Because, you know, with a lie, you just got to tell another lie to cover up that lie. And another lie. And it just is a never ending cycle. Except for just being yourself. And if you lie, then that means that you're presenting somebody that's not real to people who want to get to know you. So if you present to them you're this way, but you're really not, when your true authentic self does show, then what? Then I go and be friends with you? You know? So I'm always truthful. So I've been sitting back thinking about that. Like, have I ever told a lie to somebody when I first met them? Because then you'll have to queue up that lie for the whole time that you know them. And that just sounds exhausting. Mm. 
Ooh. But all right, guys, I'm going to freaking head out. Everything was very delicious. Make sure to get that strawberry ice cream because it is so freaking good. Guys, comment down below anything that you want. I really don't care. I'll read all of you guys' comments. I definitely want to hear about what you guys think about the introduction and telling at least 10 lies to people that you freshly meet. Um, but <laughs> anyways, guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember... If you don't fit into this white ass society, come on over to Saint Society because what society is better than Saint Society? But bet I'll tell ya, nobody's. <laughs> All right, guys, love ya. Bye.